I want to introduce you to a tool that you can use to generate images like this, 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 and this. This tool is known as TensorArt. Okay, so TensorArt is a free online image generator and model hosting platform. It is the first platform globally to support Stable Diffusion 3. Okay, so Stable Diffusion 3 is the latest and most advanced text-to-image AI model that is capable of generating hyper-realistic images and TensorArt can easily support Stable Diffusion models including the capability to train Stable Diffusion 3 models online and once you log in you'll pretty much have a dashboard looking like this so it has a section of AI tools and these are basically the tools that they have in their platform that you can use to generate all kinds of images. If you scroll down further, you will see their models, basically giving you an idea of the kinds of images that you can come up with. Hyperrealistic cartoon images or anime. Up over here, you have artistic kinds of images. And if you scroll down further, you can see they have posts. These are posts that people have actually created and posted on the platform. You can also do a similar thing once you've generated your image. And I'm going to be showing you how to come up with some of these images that they have over here, okay? Now on your left hand side, you have your AI tools. Okay, and these are basically the tools that I've just shown you. They have the models, they have the posts, they have events, they have articles, leaderboard, they have anime, portrait, realistic, illustration, sci-fi, visual, space, and game design, okay? Now, if you want to generate an image, you'll click on create over here. And these are some of the images that I've generated using this tool. Now, if you want to generate your image, you can just come over here. At the top over here, you can see you have text to image, which features Stable Diffusion 3 and DIT. They also have image to image, and they also have animate. So here you can enter your prompt. So I'll just enter mine, a futuristic house on a hill. Now you can do things like generate random prompts. If you have no idea of what you want to come up with, you can click on random prompts. You can use abstract prompts or you can use enhanced prompts. Here you have a negative prompt. So negative prompts are those features that you don't want to appear on your images, the things that you don't want to appear on your photos or images. And further down here, you can see you have other features such as changing the model settings. If you look down here, you can see there is add LoRa. And as you can see, it says LoRa's are like one-time modifiers for AI models. So each LoRa is highly specialized in one style or character. So this will basically give you more features and here you can see different types of features, different settings that you can use or that you can apply on your images. So they also have Stable Diffusion 3 or SD3. So if you want to use this, you can just click on select and it's going to apply onto your image. Now, sometimes if you use some features, some are going to be disabled. Now, for example, this one here, the photo realism has been disabled, right? Now, if you go down further, you can see you can change your settings. They have different aspect ratios, portrait, landscape, square and custom. They have other settings here as well. Now you can go ahead and play with them. Personally, I didn't use them, but you can go ahead and test them. And once you're done, you can scroll down and click generate. And there we go. So we have our futuristic house that the tool has generated. Okay, so we have different results. Okay, and you can see on your right hand side over here, it's also going to tell you the prompts that you used and the settings as well. Now you can go ahead and select the image further and you can do things like rotate the image okay you can zoom in and zoom out okay you can also download and you can close the image let's go ahead and generate another image so a cartoon african superhero fighting an evil villain in a busy modern city okay so let's see what that will come up with okay so <laughs> we have our image here and our prompt was a cartoon african superhero fighting an evil villain in a busy modern city so it's pretty much got everything right okay just as i expected i just didn't expect the colorful uh, suits but these are things that you can also do in the negative prompt and go ahead and adjust your image okay now if you go back home and look at some of these images some of these models you can actually remix okay you can remix and come up with something very similar or just do some changes on some of them for example this one here if i want to remix it i'll just click on this button here and as you can see on your left hand side here you have the prompt so it's going to show you the entire prompt and down here it's also going to show you the negative prompt okay so you can go ahead and change if you want to edit anything if there's some changes i want to make on that image you can go ahead and do it here as you can see here, it says a captivating image featuring an enchanting ethereal young lustful woman in a breathtaking white wedding dress so maybe if you want to change the race of the woman maybe you can say uh, like a young african or african-american woman you can go ahead and do that so instead of saying lustful i can say here african okay african woman in a breathtaking white wedding dress 
So I'll just go ahead and click on generate and there we go. So let's have a look at this. All right, so we now have an African woman and that is the only thing that we changed over here, okay? From here, we just removed the last full and just replaced with African woman. So you can go ahead and play around with these images, okay? Especially the ones from the models on the homepage. You can go ahead and make your changes and replicate some of these images. Now Tensart will give you three days pro, so you'll get a hundred free images daily. You can run and remix directly online. You can create massive model downloads from a hundred original creators. All right, so currently it's basically a free tool which can allow you to generate up to a hundred images daily. Okay, that's a lot of images that you can generate in 24 hours. Now Tensa is also currently hosting an SD3 event, a Stable Diffusion 3 event on their Discord. And this is an image battle, so you're going to test out your skills and compete with others who can generate amazing images and you can stand a chance of winning different prizes, okay? So be sure to join their Discord. Now I'll link it down in the description so that you can test it out. Otherwise, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.